Hello. What I'm going to do in this tutorial is continue uh, the work that I did last time with the elevator, except this time we're going to make an elevator to take us to a whole new cell. So I've done a little bit of setup to begin with. I've set up the door frame, which my elevator is going to go into, but I've also built a new cell here, tutorial room lower level, which has a door here, which is going to be ready to receive our elevator. So I'm going to start off in tutorial room, which is the first cell that uh, the elevator is going to go from. And it's quite simple. Again, we're going to look for packings here. Elevator. And whereas last time we used elevator utility packing, this time we're going to use elevator utility load packing. And the load uh, symbolizes that it's going to be loading us between a new cell. So I'm going to click and drag that in like this. And we have this door up here. If I click M, this shows up for markers and we'll see it's brought up this uh, little box here. Now we need to make sure the box is at the back because it's inside this box that the elevator is going to appear and click and drag into position. And yes, this elevator has no visible interior but it will have one when we're finished. So we just got to position this in the door frame. It's coming a bit far forward each time, really. Um, but I'll do, to be honest. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to alt-click this button so that I've got only the button selected and just move it so that it's not in uh, inside the wall. And what I'm going to do next is set up the same thing in my second cell, which is where this lift is going to take us. So click and drag my load pack in, rotate so the box is outside of the cell in the void and just click and drag the door so it fits into the frame. Again, just do this to the best of your ability because not every building set is going to fit every elevator set. So I've just used this wood building but this works fine for the wood building. A vault elevator probably wouldn't fit here. A vault elevator would only work with vault wall components. So we're going to return now to our original room and we're going to want to select this door at the back. This one, which if I alt click, we can see is load elevator door utility, not out utility, door utility for one at the back. So we'll just check we've selected the right one. Yep. Teleport. Our cell was, mine was called tutorial interior 02. And we have to be making sure we're selecting the right one. So we're selecting the identical door load elevator utility. But now what we have to do as well is select a transition interior because when you go inside an elevator, the doors close. You're actually moved to a whole other cell. So we're going to look for elevator trans util, which is the right uh, one. So we're using a utility elevator, which is for util, and the trans is for transition. So this is the transition elevator utility like that. And we're going to want to shift this forward. Um, I may as well show you the inside. So this is what's going to appear, this elevator. So this is where you go when you are teleported inside an elevator. So now I'm going to go to my tutorial interior and we can see we've got one of these here. I'm just going to shift that forward as well so it's out of the box. And save. And now we're just going to want to make sure on this one, the teleport, but we've selected a transition interior as well for this one. Otherwise, it will there will be no elevator when we open the doors and it will look weird. If you've selected the wrong elevator, so if you've selected this elevator door and selected that to be the teleporting one, you'll find that there will be a random elevator floating in the middle of your cell because it's selecting that. Uh, transition room that makes an elevator appear inside this trigger. So if you've done it here, your elevator is going to appear here on the other side and it's going to look weird. So now that that's done, I'm going to go into the game and demonstrate that working. So here I am in the lower area of the tutorial room. This is the lift that we're going to be going down. And as you can see, it's got our uh, interior already prepped, even though I didn't build one in the game. That's because it uses a transition Sorry. interior, like this one, which we're now inside. And we can't open a hatch or anything, so we're inside. Oh, hang on. And then, Ground doors open, floor. and here we are. Trapped inside here, we can't actually go anywhere, so that's great. And we can just go straight back up again. Going up. There 
we go. Nice and easy. That's all you have to do for a lift between uh, two different floors. So thank you for watching. I hope that was useful. And goodbye.